so right now it says the area of a disk is 36 pi centimeter squared, right? So a couple things to do just to kind of help you out. If you kind of get stuck or, you know, looking into doing, one thing you can just always draw it, all right? And the next thing is they said the area, so let's write in what we know. Um, they say that the area, area of a circle equals um, pi r squared, right? And what was the only other, what was the other um, formula that we used? Per area? Just in circles that we've been talking about. Uh, uh, circumferences. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, pi times d yeah. diameter. Yep, pi times the diameter or pi times 2r, right? Yeah. So those are the only two formulas we've used, right? right? Well, so for right now, if I look at this, they say the area equals 3, 36 pi. So obviously I have to plug 36 in for area. That's right. what 30, that's area equals that. So I can write 36, um, 36 pi equals area and that equals pi r squared. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so then I do not know what my r is. Um, so what I can do is I can solve for r, for r by dividing pi on both sides. Those cancel out, those cancel out. So I'm left with 36 equals r squared. And then to solve for r, I gotta take the square root, right? So r equals um, square root of 36. Since we're dealing with the distance, it's going to be a positive six. So that means the distance from here to here is six, right? Mm -hmm. But they wanna know what is the distance of the diameter. So the distance of that diameter is just double my radius, right? Which is going to be 12. So I can say my diameter equals 12 just because looking at it from the picture. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay.